Hey everybody, welcome back to Metro Exodus. We just left this uh, crazy church where we rescued these, these two women, a uh, mother and a daughter, that were being kept up there. I don't know what's going on. They were against technology. They were against electricity. Really bizarre. Uh, we met up with our friend here, and uh, he mentioned that there are... There's something in this plane that we need to check out, so we're gonna go and do that. He also mentioned that he's like jealous of all the cool missions we get to go on. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if he's that's something he should be jealous about, but we're gonna head over here anyways and get to work. Uh, yeah, let's check our map. So, we need to head back to the Aurora, which is over here. Need to return there and check if Katja and Nastia told Miller anything that could help us leave this place behind. Sounds good to me. We'll check the plane first. Whoa! Oh, just... <laughs> That's crazy, actually. Oh, cool. This Well, not cool. Terrible for the plane and for whoever was on it, but... It took down this tower, got caught in the power lines. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, hello. Thank you. Man, just look at that. It's actually so crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, is that... A, is that... Oh, that's our guys shooting at that thing. I wish I could zoom in here. We need binoculars, like, real bad. Oh, he's taking off. <gasps> nope. Oh, <gasps> they got him. Oh, cool. As we just sit here and watch. I got planes to explore. Oh, look at this. Who needs binoculars? We've got a scope. This is awesome. Okay. What's this? You picked up an upgrade for your gear. Find a workbench to install it. Okay. Workbench would be great. Look at this little setup here. So they crashed and like made a thing out of it, I guess. Oh, hello. Is that this guy? We could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here. That's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others... They have relatives there. Maybe. It's been ten years, but... I could still be alive. Anyways... We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well, we'll have to leave and see about that. Huh, so... Okay, they crashed here, they set up, but like... This fire's going, he's not... ...rotting away. So... Huh. And that guy up there, too. Like, we've seen a lot of corpses. They do not look like this. Good boy. Don't look at me. Oh, God. Yeah, let's just avoid these for now. Oh, he's all over me. Why do I... What, what popped up there? Radiation detector? Oh, cool. Whoa, what's this guy doing? 
Oh, what is the? Oh boy. Are you serious? Yeah, okay. These things have like stakes driven through them. Moldy log. Okay, they say any landing you walk away from is good enough. But what about my case? Could have been worse, of course. The other three can't even move. Shura and Nick got away with just bruises, though. Nick made a splint for me and more or less put the leg together. Sure hurts like hell. We're in a tight spot with bogs all around. We are sure are not walking to that village Shura said he saw. Until we have at least... Until we at least have a path laid out. Looks like we're setting he settling here for the time being. The good thing is that we managed to build a camp and get everyone there. The bad thing is that the plane is leaking fuel badly. So we must be quick with getting our stuff out before it catches fire or something. An unexpected bonus, there are no mosquitoes here, which is weird. There are other things. <laughs> they left tracks in the muck last night, which don't look like anything we've ever seen. Glad we have guns. Who knows what those things were. Better get some power in case they come at night. I wonder if they could drive that ram turbine with the bike we had in the luggage. Oh my god, they got Nick. He went to take that ram turbine and they got him. Huge greenish gray praying mantis like monsters. The shotgun did nothing. Sure fired both barrels, but shot just bounced off. They were perfectly hidden as if they knew where to wait for him. Fucking monsters. Nick, we should have stayed home. We have two options. Try to get help from the village now, or wait till the food runs out and try then. At least we have some time to think about it. Looks like the monsters are afraid of fire and don't approach our camp while the fire's going. Sure says it's up to me, as the others are mostly drifting in and out of consciousness. But how can he be so calm? I still can't get over what happened to Nick in this fever. Shura left. His message. Still, that's bullshit. Just let him get to the dry land, please. They're crawling around at night, clicking their mandibles. What an awful sound. Can't sleep, have to keep the fire going. Luckily, Shura left enough firewood. The others can't move at all, but my fever's a little lower now, so... Can't stand anymore. Can't sleep. We'll try walking tomorrow. Need to... Need more firewood, at least. Just descending into madness. Sure, goddammit, fucking beast. I found his backpack less than 100 meters from the camp. Took all my speed to hobble back before they noticed me, fucking monsters. They're crawling around, splashing in the mud, clicking their claws. The sound is driving me nuts. Lucky the guys are passed out most of the time. Don't bother them so much. My fever is back. Don't know if I'll be able to keep this up. It's not so bad with the fire crackling, really. The fever's just getting worse. Don't know the date. The leg is all black. Can't write. Sharpened a couple of sticks and gave them to the guys. Hope they can hold them. The monsters are getting closer. I just can't anymore. July 17th, torn note. Dima, you know I have to try. I'm the only one left who can move, and we have to get help. Otherwise, the guys are as good as dead. Sit tight, and don't you dare pull a typical you like back then. See you around. July 17th. Oh, Shura left his message. This, so this is Shura writing to Dima. Dima's the one's writing this, this whole thing. Do you know I have to try? I'm the only one who can move. We have to get help. And he left. But then we say we found his, uh... Found his backpack less than 100 meters from the camp. So, like, nobody made it, it seems. Unless... Yeah, I'm not sure. There's a few bodies, though, like... We have these two guys, we have the guy on the top of the plane, we have the guy inside the plane. We have... that. Maybe that's the Shura thing, less than 100 meters. Anyways. I'm a bit confused on that, maybe their timelines, and like their bodies aren't like the corpses we've normally seen. So... Huh. We know they crashed, tried to survive, and didn't really work out, but... He only said he found his bag, so maybe there's a guy that could still be out there? Hello. Oh, what? Look at this! We've got our boat down here. Okay, wait. That little icon... 
What does that mean exactly? Can I zoom in closer on this? I think it's like it's like marking stuff on the map when that happens. Oh, here we can grab some of this stuff. Holy Jesus frick! What the hell? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! We just ripped its arm off. We ripped its arm off. That's insane. All I wanted to do was see this thing. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, I see where we've gone. All right. Let's report back here. It's me, I'm home. You're alive. I am. Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Oh yeah? Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. Okay. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. Look at but her. of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Yeah? Find anything out? Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really <laughs> strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. Oh, I know I did. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total <laughs> dead eye. Okay, now, Stepan. Watch it. Come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real funny. Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. Salmon. Uh, found the occupying forces yet? Grab them by their tails when you do. Oh, I will. <laughs> So, Katya, where are you uh, from? Care, Stepan. This is in Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who could have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? <laughs> I do. What's wrong? Besides everything. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, must have thought it was alive. Are you talking about the thing that... The oh, shots that we heard? Worry. What? We'll find your teddy. That's crazy. Huh. We call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, ridden with disease. I'm a trained nurse. But Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no, it's a sin. And then he just locked us up in that tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. 
<laughs> That's their whole anti-electricity thing. But Salanters got mad and smashed it. He did, and then he cursed Crest. So the man had to hide in the port. It's a beastman layer, so Salanters can get him there. He also wanted to make mommy marry him, but she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Yeah, ah. good call. Yes, the gospel of the damn fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. The gospel crazy of the damn she's just fish? So... Will you take us away from here, please? <laughs> Gladly. Of course we will. Don't you worry. That is freaking terrible. That was crazier than I thought it was. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Ooh. I like the sounds of that. Maybe a workbench? Artyom, we can upgrade this come over here, thing that we found. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. Oh, that's who they were talking about. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Okay. Now we know we for sure that. that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now, but still, so many questions. <sighs> there might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. <sighs> in any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau, from the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So. Now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Okay, so I gotta get this guy to come help us fix this thing, so then we can cross the bridge. Got it. We can do that. Are you still here, Artem? I'm still here. You really should move out to port zone. Yep, thanks. Our first contact with an extra Moscow civilization is a complete failure. The local society arbors abhors technology. Katya and Nastya spoke fondly of another traveler who got stranded in these parts. Crest. He happens to be a mechanic. And Yurmek will need all the help he can get if we are to restore the Aurora back to to running condition anytime soon. The Colonel is ready to offer him a permanent position in our crew, and I'm sure I sure hope he'll be inclined to accept. Damn. What do I even do about this? Wait for Crest, I guess. I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one. And I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. Jeez. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Yeah, I am. Cool? Alright. Hi, Artyom. Hey, idiot. <laughs> Hello again, Artyom. Hey, hey Alyosha. Or so everyone says. <laughs> well, of course. In the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces, yeah. but so far we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. Bandit-looking characters in the distance? So, Artyom, are you going to the port? Yes, I'm going. There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Okay, thank you. Take care, Artyom. The scourge <laughs> of the Dark Ones. I know they're ragging me, but come on. We earned that title. Artyom, are you going to the port? Yeah, are you coming? I am going to relieve Alyosha now, so I can't come with you. Okay. His hand is still giving him trouble. What's wrong with his hand? So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, hmm. he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you go run that errand for my father now. Just be careful out there. You know I worry about you. 
I got you. I'll be back. You said you wanted to show me something? How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? Yeah. Seems good. I have a present for you here. <gasps> oh. A TR rifle. Ring any bells? Absolutely. Pump action. It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, oh, I like making it. bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. <laughs> oh, this that, is cool. It will never fail you. I did my best. So, Pumpkin Matic weapon. With honor. <laughs> That's and awesome. Don't Thank to you. Drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Do I have anything that I can put on there right now, I wonder? Oh, look. We now have uh, steel balls that we can make. Got that four times scope. The thing that we found. Sniper stock. We might as well install that. But nothing for this just yet. Alright, cool. No workbench. So how do I get over there? Looks like, uh... We have to go... Oh, okay, I see. We probably have to go down and around the section that we found. Actually, I don't think a single man from NATO would ever be here. Save for me, of course. No, of course. <laughs> the thing is, what would they even do here? I guess they could bomb the bridge if they wanted. Why set up a base here? They'd be in a city, not in this hellhole. Look how quickly the pressure drops. The compass attached to your notepad will always point towards the current objective. Yes. Notice. So it looks like we're setting out this way, but there's also this section. I think maybe I'll just cross here instead of taking the boat. He said there were mutants. Oh, that was weird. Ooh. Keep your cool. Yes. I don't even know we're here. I always feel bad when we take from these guys, but it's like they're quite obviously not using it. Oh yeah, we're heading in the right direction. I guess we could probably just row over there too, but... What the hell? Yeah, I see, like, something got marked on our map there, I think. Of course, I can't see it in here. <gasps> Every time I find a new gun, I'm like, this is... Okay, what do we got? This is like a... Oh, it's a shotgun. Okay, it's like a duplet. I will take those add-ons... Rest to change time of day and replenish health? Oh, no way. Can we can just find like random beds. Wow. 
Oh! Is this what I think it is? Nice. Military stockpile. Can't get to it without the boat, though. Okay, that's good info. So he's saying there's something across the way that we should be checking out. Or, well, he should have been checking out. Is this a work? This got to be a workbench. Uh, so this is where we can craft ammo if we really wanted to. Steel balls. We could do that anywhere. Uh, I should actually make some med kits. You can see in the top left, we actually are doing quite well in that regard. What's this? Gas mask repair. Spartan helmet. Electrical equipment. Our vest. Oh, here's the thing that we found. Our bracer. Compass. The compass attachment to your brace will always point in the direction you should be heading. Nice. That's really cool. How do we... Oh, I was just going to say, how do we clean our guns? And there we go. Oh, it actually costs us... It's not an insignificant amount to clean these things. Look at the cleaning costs on this. This one's fresh. That's crazy. Alright, okay. Everything's cleaned up. Oh, this is exceptional. This is exceptional. <laughs> oh, that compass is really handy. Okay. I don't think we need to rest, but... If we can get a good visual of our map here for a second... Yeah, it show it's like a house. Okay, cool. He said there's a house across the way. But we have to get there by boat. Is it a big house? Old boat. Oh, uh, that one there, I guess. Ooh. Am I in deep here? Oh, there's a few there. Oh. Really loses a lot of power. I hear somebody else shooting too. Well, this is surely accessible without the boat, so he must be talking about something else. Was this guy sleeping? We... Ooh. Oh no. Did he get the call off? I was wondering if there's a way we could take them down by approaching, but he caught us right away. This is where we need to be going. You know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, all I'm thinking about is that this guy mentioned there's a house across the way that we need to find. Whoa. 
I'm at the port, as well as the man I'm looking for. For his hut is up the crane, so I have to find a way of getting up there to finally deliver Colonel's invitation. Okay, tell you what, let's take a break here. When we come back, we're gonna find this guy up in that crane, I guess. Uh, this is like, I'm having so much fun. I'm re like, it's so... When I sit down to play this, I'm just like, I'm right in it. I'm just, I'm in this world and it's crafted so amazingly well that, um, yeah, I just don't want to stop. It's so good. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, I realize that there's probably some parts that are slow. There's a lot of conversation. But, like, think about that, the situation with the mom and the girl, right? Let's imagine that we didn't listen to that. We wouldn't have learned about why he was keeping her up there, what he planned to do with her. Um, it sheds so much light on the world, and um, there's parts of me sometimes where I'm like, you know, you want to keep things going because it's a video that people are watching, but uh, I really think that you guys are probably the type that appreciate um, that we're taking it slow like that, and we really just want to get everything we can out of it. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying, and we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye for now.